Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a trigonometric expression. This problem is from Romanian school Olympiads. So we have a trigonometric expression and we are going to simplify it. Now, this expression can be simplified even though we do not know the numerical values for these trigonometric functions. All the angles are measured in degrees even though the degree symbol is not always going to be written. Just letting you know ahead of time. Now, we are going to take advantage of the fact that 40 plus 13 is equal to 53. So I'm going to start by breaking down the 53 into 40 plus 13. And as you know, we have a formula for that. We're going to take advantage of that in the next step. Let's go ahead and do the replacement. And now, as you know, sine alpha plus beta can be written as sine alpha cosine beta plus sine beta cosine alpha. And as you know, from here we can also derive the double angle formula where you write beta or replace beta with alpha and that gives you sine of 2 alpha, so on and so forth. So if you apply, apply the formula, we get sine of 40, of course in degrees, multiplied by cosine 13 degrees plus sine of 13 degrees multiplied by cosine of 40 degrees and then from that we're going to subtract 2 times cosine 40 degrees multiplied by sine 13 degrees and that is going to be divided by cosine of 63 degrees. Now, once you expand this, you're going to notice that we have some like terms. This one, sine 13, cosine 40, and then we're just subtracting two times the same thing. So one times something minus two times the same thing, that's going to give us negative one times the same thing. So our expression is going to look like the following. Once we simplify, we can write it as sine 40, cosine 13, minus sine 13 cosine 40 and the whole thing is going to be divided by cosine of 63 degrees. Great. Now once we simplify we do get a nice expression in the numerator because it is in the form sine alpha, let's write it down, cosine beta minus sine beta cosine alpha and this is nothing but sine alpha minus beta. Great. So we can write the numerator as so we can write the numerator as sine of 40 minus 13. And then let's go ahead and divide it by the denominator. And once you simplify this, you're going to get sine of 40 minus 13, which is 27, divided by cosine of 63 degrees. Now notice that 27 and 63 are related, not because they're multiples of 9, but they add up to 90 degrees. So 27 degrees plus 63 degrees is 90 degrees. So we kind of have like two angles that are complementary. So sine of one of the angles is going to equal to the cosine of the other angle. In other words, if you replace sine 27 with sine of 90 minus 63, excuse me, and then divide it by cosine of 63. You can now write the sine 90 minus alpha as cosine of alpha, which is cosine 63, divided by cosine 63, and that's going to give you 1. So this whole expression basically simplifies to 1. You could also do the following. Sine 27 is the same as cosine 63, because 27 plus 63 is 90 degrees. And you can draw a right triangle with these angles, and just verify this identity. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.